Are you bored with your current closet? Maybe you're feeling uninspired, you feel like you have to buy new things but you don't have the funds or you rather just spend your money on other things, then you've come to the right video. Hi guys and welcome back. Today is going to be a fun one. We're going to cover lots of outfit ideas that you can style with your favorite basics and we're going to go over some trendy aesthetics that you can tap into without having to buy new clothes. But before we get into it, if you don't know me, hi my name is Marie and I'm just here trying to make fashion make sense. If you want to learn how to dress your best, you should definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other socials for daily fashion inspiration. So most of you probably already know what a capsule wardrobe is. It has become a very trendy term that everybody in the fashion community is talking about including myself. And the definition of a capsule wardrobe is, a capsule wardrobe is a minimalist collection of clothes that can be put together in different ways to cover a variety of outfits and occasions. Typically, a capsule wardrobe includes 30 to 50 pieces, and the one that I'm gonna share today will include about 16 pieces, I think it is. Yes, 16 pieces. So that means that you can fill out the rest with whatever clothing items that you like to add even more interesting elements and personal touches so that you can really elevate these outfits that I'm gonna share with you later in the video even further. So really the possibilities here are endless to expand on this foundation and create even more versatile looks. I also just want to put this out there that you don't need to have or create a capsule wardrobe to be able to recreate any of these outfits. As long as you have any of these pieces, you're good to go. So let's start with the 16 pieces. First we have the tops, which includes a white t-shirt, a black turtleneck, a white button-up, and a striped button-up. And I would probably suggest to go for a classic blue, but to be honest, I think any of these neutral styles will suit any of these aesthetics. So if you happen to have another button-up in another color, or if you prefer any of these other colors, I think they can go really well with any of these outfits as well. Then we have bottoms that are black office trousers, neutral office trousers. Here I would suggest white beige or gray since we already have the black ones then blue jeans black jeans black mini skirt and a neutral maxi or midi skirt we also have some layering pieces which includes a black blazer and a neutral long coat I would probably suggest a black or brown for these aesthetics but basically any neutral color will do and then finally we have shoes and here I have included sneakers comfortable flats that are not sneakers like ballerinas or loafers ankle boots and a pointed toe heel. And by the way, if you're missing any of these pieces and you're still looking for your holy grail basics, I would highly suggest to check out my video how to shop the right basics so that you can get a solid high quality foundation for your wardrobe that will last you a very long time. But now let's get into how we can style these basics. So our point of inspiration are going to be six different aesthetics and I'm going to go through each one and show you how you can transform your basics with styling the right accessories, makeup, and hair to achieve these looks. But before I introduce the aesthetics, I just want to give a disclaimer that you don't have to follow any trends or aesthetics to be stylish. Some people might find these aesthetics controversial and non-inclusive, but I feel like in this case, personally, these aesthetics are what you make them. So if you like any of these styles or aesthetics, you can participate no matter your ethnicity or size. I know that I do. Even if I don't see myself represented in fashion, I draw inspiration and personalize them to make them work for me and my personal style. Basically, we're just trying to have fun and spice up our basics. So pick and choose what elements you like and make them work for you. So with that said, the aesthetics that we're going to talk about are business casual. Although it's technically not an aesthetic and more so just of a style, I still wanted to include it because a lot of these pieces fit perfectly for a business casual look. Then we also have the office siren aesthetic, the mob wife aesthetic, the quiet luxury aesthetic, also known as stealth wealth, the old money aesthetic, and the clean girl aesthetic. So let's start with the business casual style. Business casual is basically exactly what it sounds like. It means wearing typical office clothes like button up shirts, blazers and trousers, but in a more relaxed and casual way. Like for example, balancing out a button up with sneakers or wearing casual jeans and a t-shirt with a heeled boot or a blazer. Some elements are often in a oversized fit without looking baggy and the color palette is typically very neutral. The office siren aesthetic is a relatively new trend that began emerging towards the end of 2023 and the interest in this trend continues to grow this year. It draws inspiration from the 90s and early 2000s and incorporates traditional business attire complemented by dark smoky eye makeup, 
sometimes with a bold red lip and glasses. I think the best way to describe this aesthetic is probably sleek, feminine, and professional. Then we have another new and upcoming trend that you've probably heard about, the mob wife aesthetic. The mob wife style is inspired by the 80s and 90s, and it's all about wearing lots of black, dark neutrals, leather, animal prints, and fur coats. The makeup is very similar to the office siren, but the overall styling is much bolder. These outfits are often seen accessorized with big sunglasses and chunky gold jewelry, whereas the siren is more low-key with the accessories. Then we have Quiet Luxury, which is a minimalist approach to fashion that emphasizes timeless elegance and high-quality pieces. It's not really an easy aesthetic to pinpoint, and it's more of a mood than anything else, but what visually characterizes the style is its minimalism, the absence of visible logos, and its neutral color palette. Then the old money aesthetic is centered around classic and timeless designs, similar to Quiet Luxury, and some people even and refer to them as the same thing, but I find that Old Money leans a bit more towards preppy and flashy styles compared to Quiet Luxury, and Quiet Luxury outfits tend to be more modern and up-to-date than those that are associated with the Old Money aesthetic. Lastly, we have the Clean Girl aesthetic. So the Clean Girl is characterized by its minimalism and emphasis on natural beauty. Think subtle, no makeup makeup looks, slicked back buns, gold jewelry, and very simple minimal outfits, typically in brighter neutrals like white, gray, and beige. Now, as you can probably already tell, there's a lot of overlap between these aesthetics, which is why I have chosen them, and also because they're very trendy aesthetics at the moment. But let's go through exactly what the similarities are and how you can transform your basics into these different aesthetics. So let's start with the base layers. We're gonna start with the white t-shirt. So with a white t-shirt, you can already do a lot and pair with trousers or a structured midi skirt, you can achieve more of an elevated and professional vibe. Of course, shoes are also important. So for a true office siren, quite luxury or old money look, I would skip the sneakers and go for an ankle boot or heels. And then for a more relaxed casual look, you can go for the sneakers. The same goes for the turtleneck. I love to work with this base because it suits so many different styles. And if you know me, you've probably seen me in this black turtleneck a lot. I'm kind of in my Steve Jobs era right now. It's just so simple to style and it's just so classy and timeless. You'll never be out of style with a black turtleneck. And if my turtleneck is too high, I like to fold it down a bit. And I also like to fold up the sleeves a little bit so that it looks a little bit more put together. And also if you keep it all black and then accessorize it with bold gold jewelry, sunglasses, and a statement bag, you can really easily recreate the mob wife look. Because if you look beyond the big fur coats, you can see that the base could be very simple, like a turtleneck with black trousers or black jeans. Then of course, you also want the big hair, the makeup, and the gold jewelry. This also looks really well for the office siren aesthetic. You can also switch out the trousers for the skirts, and then you also want to switch out the accessories to not be as bold. Then we have another good white basics, which is the white button-up. You can wear it on its own like this or layer it, which I'm going to show you later. A button-up in jeans is also that kind of look that just works with any style. I would argue that it's not as comfortable as a black turtleneck, but it's still very comfortable and obviously you'll look a little bit more elevated. You can tuck it in for a more dressed up look or leave it out for a more relaxed casual vibe. And it also works really well with a skirt and some heels for a more feminine touch. Then if we get into the layering, you can layer it on top of the white t-shirt or underneath the black blazer. Again, the trousers and the skirts are going to give you a more elevated vibe while the jeans adds a casual element. The same thing goes for the striped button up. This is why I said that I recommend a classic blue because I feel like it's just such a timeless staple that looks so crisp against both white and black. And what I also love about these basics is that they're so versatile that you can also style them differently within the different aesthetics. So I would consider all of these three looks business casual, but as you can see, changing the bottoms and the shoes can really transform it into a completely different look. Then we have the black blazer, which I think is a must-have in everybody's closet. I mean, let's be honest, all of these are must-haves for me, but a blazer can just so easily elevate my style with zero effort. 
like you can put it on top of anything and you'll instantly look so much more put together I think the same thing goes for the coat although the coat can be a little bit hard to style with the different aesthetics like for example the mob wife is very well known for having fur coats but I think maybe a dark brown coat could still emulate that same vibe but still go easily with other outfits however I think the most versatile color would be black or gray but brown and beige can also look so good paired with different colors so you basically just have to make up your own mind of what you think looks the best and what will go seamlessly with the other clothes in your closet I hope this was helpful and that you got lots of inspiration on how to style your basics without feeling bored and maybe you can go to your closet now and look at it in a different light until next time check out my other videos on my channel and follow my socials for daily fashion inspiration bye